Hi, everyone, and you are in for a treat because Alexis is joining us. And for any one of you who watched World Youth Day many years ago, because I don't remember how many years ago, <laughs> Alexis was the co-host with Bishop Reed. So uh, how old were you when you did that, Alexis? I had just turned 16. And now you're a senior in college. Yep. St. Anselm's College. Yes. That is unbelievable. <laughs> so tell us a little, before we get into what we're here to talk about, okay. we're, we're going to tease the audience a little bit on this one. Tell us why uh, a little bit about you. Well, uh, I'm 21 years old. I'm a senior communication and theology major at St. Anselm College. And I run a blog. It's called justshineon.com. Uh, it's my, my little side project. And I run all the social media pages that accompany it as well. Uh, I enjoy playing basketball once in a while. I play volleyball on the intramural team at my school. And I also really enjoy poetry and photography. So you're pretty busy. Yeah. <laughs> you're busy. And so during all of this busy time, you decide that you're going to go to SEEK. Yes. So first of all, what is SEEK? Ooh, so SEEK is basically a huge conference for you know young people, high school, towards the end of high school and into college. Um, but there are a lot of families there too, and everybody goes there and we learn a lot about the Catholic Church, about what it means to be a leader in today's world, um, a variety of topics, honestly. And it's just this huge conference that everybody goes to. Now, is it, so it's, it's really crowded. Yes. <laughs> so here you are, you're a senior, you're, you're, this is your last semester in mm -hmm. school, and this Sikh comes up. Mm -hmm. You've never been on a plane before, by the way. I've never been on a plane before. <laughs> so what made you make the decision to go to see, get on a plane for the first time, <laughs> and go out there? What, what was attractive to you? Well, my mom first pitched it to me, like, back in August. And she's like, just think about it for, like, you know, a couple weeks, and let me know what you think. And I, I don't know. I just, I really wanted to try something new. I wanted to push myself and just see how it went. So I actually went back to her a couple of days later and I was like, okay, you can, you can sign me up. <laughs> and and she was like, up. wait, really? And I was like, yeah. And, and, did, and again, your first time on a plane. But you know what yeah. I love too <laughs> is so I could tell you're a senior in college because your mother is pitching you ideas. <laughs> so now your mother's pitching you ideas. So you get out there to seek and mm -hmm. did you go by yourself? Did you go with a group? So technically I didn't go with a school group but I knew people who were also going so some of them actually ended up on my flight um, one of them was Olivia Rose oh yeah Olivia's so great. she went and also my friend Lindsay was on the same plane so we kind of like flew out there together um, but I didn't travel with any like official group and so that takes a lot of courage congratulations <laughs> Thank you. I'm not sure I would be able to <laughs> do that and I've traveled a lot so you get out there Tell us about the conference in general, the speakers, the atmosphere. What was it like? Uh, the atmosphere was super energetic. Like, I don't think I've ever seen that much energy in, in one place. It was about 17,000 students, I believe. 17,000? That was just the students. That didn't include the clergy and the families and the other religious So probably over 20,000 people. Uh, about that, yeah. That's the number that I was hearing a lot. Um, and the speakers, oh my goodness. So the lineup of speakers that we had was incredible. Uh, we had Father Mike Schmitz, the Everts were there, um, Dr. Scott Hahn, Trent Horn, Father Don Calloway was there, uh, Jen Fulwiler, oh yeah. um, Sarah Swafford, Leah Darrow. We had so many amazing speakers. It, it, sounds, it sounds like all the guests of This Is The Day. <laughs> They're all on there. So what was your favorite moment? Is there something that, mm. you, that you walked away and just said, wow, this is unbelievable? Um, the first mass that we all had together, the opening mass, that was pretty incredible. And just seeing like all the priests come in, and there was a lot of seminarians, a lot of altar servers. Um, the, the deacon I actually knew from Twitter, he's a transitional deacon. He's going to be ordained in June, oh, wow. God willing. So that was super cool just to experience all of that. Um, other than that, adoration was amazing. Um, that was, yeah, I love adoration. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame you. You know, it's, it's interesting to me that clearly the faith means a great deal to you. Mm -hmm. It must have felt wonderful being surrounded by 20,000 people, 17,000 young people mm -hmm. who share your faith because in today's world, I think you can feel isolated sometimes was Definitely. it good to be there with so many other people who are energetic about the faith? Yeah, well, 
My thing has always been, I've always felt like I'm either too Catholic or I'm not Catholic enough. And I'm yeah. like hearing all these different opposing voices and um, my friend group at school, I love them all, but they're very diverse. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different voices there and being able to find s like other people who also value their Catholic faith as much as I do has been a little bit of a challenge, but I have like, I'm getting there. I have a good group of people that I interact with on a daily basis. So. You know, it's interesting you say that because, as you know, I coach. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I've said this for years to, to my players in general, is that you can't let other people define you. You yeah. are who you are, and mm -hmm. that's, I'm, I'm so thrilled to hear what you're saying right now. Don't let other people define who you are. I'm not telling you this, I'm actually telling people at home this. <laughs> they, people have to define themselves. Yeah. And if your faith means a great deal to you, then that's who you are, that's mm -hmm. who I am, that's who most of the people who are watching this are today. Yeah. Uh, so what do you do with this? So now you, you go home, what do you do with it now? Well, I took a lot of notes while I was at SEEK because I went to, there were two rounds of impact speakers every day. You could pick one from each round, um, two opening keynotes, two closing keynotes. And then there was also programs throughout the day. So I took, I took a lot of notes. Um, honestly, I might have taken more notes like there than I did for any of my classes all semester. Really? <laughs> yeah. So you give it an A? You would you I'd give, give it an A. you give it an A. Uh, what's the future for you, Alexis? Hmm. What do you graduate in another four or five months? What, I do. What do you want to do? Uh, honestly, my, my big hope is that I get to work for some Catholic organization somewhere. And I Are really you putting pressure on me right now? You put <laughs> Maybe. <pressure? laughs> I would really love to be a social media coordinator, but also provide the public with a, like a ground level, um, behind the scenes perspective of what goes on in the church and what else they could expect aside from the not so great public face that we have right now. Well, I have to thank you so much for being here today and you've been at Catholic TV doing mm -hmm. some things here while you've been home, which we very much appreciate. I also have to tell you that I'm in big trouble with Travis, who's directing this because I just ignored the clock totally <laughs> and went way over, but this is good stuff. So thanks so much, Alexis. Thanks and, for the opportunity. Always a pleasure to see you.